so when I say it's done, almost, that's exactly it. <laughs> There is still one heck of a lot to do on this shed, but um, someone just mentioned something the other day and I didn't realise. We're in June now and I think it was way back in February that um, I mentioned the fact that the, we, we were going to extend our shed and, and head towards the shed of my dreams. And so I just thought, you know what, there is so much going on in the garden. If I don't do this now, you'll never get to see it. So this is where we're at so far. A few little finishing touches needed, but uh, let me show you around. Just to show you the outside quickly. Uh, this was already here. This is mint. Now we planted this up oh, when we first moved to the plot and it's, it is actually really, really lovely to just walk past that. So we're leaving that there. It's not doing any harm, even though it might be coming up through a few floorboards inside the shed, but we'll deal with that at the time. Um, this was an old trough thing, I don't know what it's called, um, that we've had hanging around for years and years and years. I don't know where we picked it up, but uh, we got it for nothing. And uh, I knew one day I would be able to use it for something. And it's just found its place. It's perfect there. So I have filled that up with nasturtiums and I've got some, um, just behind you, there's some of that golden creeping jenny that you won't be able to see it from there. But I'm hoping that the nasturtiums will all come up and sort of give a big splash of colour to this part of the shed. Um, but then the golden creeping jenny, there'll be a better name for it than that, that'll stay in there and thicken year on year. So that'll always be a bit of a feature. And again, that'll cover this. And these flowers were given to us by a plot neighbour. And again, I've never really had the idea where to put them. They've been in the greenhouse. They've just been sitting in the greenhouse. So even though they're just past now, they have been absolutely beautiful spikes of yellow flowers. So I'm hoping that they will stay nice. And then I'm hoping to copy this little thing here. You know what I mean? Box, box, planter. And do it on that side. Meanwhile, I've just got a fancy fork. I don't know where we got that from. We were thinking about putting that on the door, but <laughs> then we realised I quite like the look of it there, but it's probably highly dangerous. So it's been tucked around the corner. Right, OK. All I'm saying is it's got to go backwards before it goes forwards, or it's got to get worse before it, one of those things. Uh, yeah. You can see a few changes in here already, but you can see before I can come and sit in here and show you the almost end result later on, I've got a little bit of work to do. waiting for the oopsie, dust to settle for a bit um, because even though well it's a big shed but even though it's been dusted so many times before oh my goodness it just needs to be like there's little bits still to be done but that involves sewing lots of wood and it involves sewing getting here and it's all because just when you see button think it's done it happens again so what I'm going to do it's so warm it really is um, it's quite nice actually to be in here today doing this because it's quite cool got plenty of drafts Danny <laughs> um, but yeah so it's quite nice it we're at the stage where it's it's almost like playing so like arranging things and making sure you know what you want. But uh, one of the main things was to get a third leg or get a fourth leg on this chair because uh, three, well, three legs, I can't get, I can't speak. I'm too warm. Um, yeah, four legs on a three legged chair. I always find it makes it easier to sit on. So I'm going to put this back. And then is the good bit, which is starting to put things in place. And whereas it might look a little bit clearer in here, you might be wondering where everything's gone. Well, it hasn't gone too far. 
but that's a different job. step in the door there you've got the tool wall which at the moment is full of all the tools we've been using for the build but um, it means that we can gradually bring together all the tools that have gone missing <laughs> all over the allotment and they'll have somewhere to go I've got similar um, boxes here for well what is it plastic hose and metal bits and bobs at the end there these baskets I have already had to move them I'd taken a picture of them further forward <laughs> we both banged our heads on them so many times but again where they are there instead of scrabbling around where it wondering where I've put my basket they're there and then we've been given these two lovely chairs by my daughter who is moving house and just didn't want them anymore she's got nowhere to put them so they are absolutely perfect in here I'll come back to that a little bit there my little corner here I'll be sitting there in a minute I've got my radio bits and bobs and then here remember we found that window for nothing just behind the greenhouse look how good that is now and then on this side we've got the old table that oh we got for a five years and years ago and we actually got these two chairs from the tip yesterday there's my camera equipment on there from the tip and someone's actually taken them out and thrown them out I only had a tiny little Fiat Panda and uh, <laughs> so we begged and got them for free so they're perfect for in here and then do you love the way it's all tidy at the moment it won't stay this way you've seen what it's like outside haven't you and then I picked up this hi-fi cabinet I don't know why really I thought it would fit perfectly there it doesn't fit at all but why I like it is it's got a glass door and so we can put things in there to protect them and it's quite unique well not unique quite handy and it's got a little lid that you can pick up and put down I don't know what I use it for oh, I know I use it to put my camera equipment on <laughs> I'm so happy I am so so pleased right before you go let me tell you things that we've still got to do because I'm aware that there's a lot um, from the shed in my head that hasn't shown up yet here let me tell you one thing we have done I'm sure you'll have noticed this little fella this was inspired by um, Danny over at the grapevine garden who got a tent stove for his shed now I'd never heard of a tent stove before. We were looking at getting some sort of wood burner. But what's great about this, I mean, it's portable, if we want to port it anywhere. <laughs> we can take it, we can, we can undo the funnel and we can take it up to the top of the garden and have like a little barbecue on it, whatever we want. But yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with this. So I had a little trial run yesterday and it works. It uh, just takes wood. We've got the flue, we managed to get an 
absolute perfect hole through the roof and it's working beautifully. But I've got to be honest, today, it is way too hot to have a go. But you just imagine, you just imagine on colder days, just sitting here, just sitting here with that on, put your kettle on it, it's actually big enough to put two things on so you could have your kettle on at the back have something on at the front this comes off somehow it does come off there we go so you've got an open flame there to cook things if, if you're a wok like scenario um i'm going to wonder why it isn't fitting again later on aren't I? there we go uh, so that is brilliant that was the that was the treat that was our real treat and again yeah wonderful okay okay there we go the battery just ran out which i think is rude <laughs> um, i was saying yeah we've got solar lighting which is the solar lighting that was in the previous shed as in this before it became this much bigger um but i do want to add to that I mean, I'm not talking of fairy lights. Well, I might be talking of fairy lights, but um, yeah, I mean, we've got two lights and they're sufficient, but I'd quite like a, a dedicated light over the table. So we'll think about that. We toyed with painting the inside white, which would make it nice. But again, we have everything we've done. We've had to temper with the fact that it's an allotment shed. It's not ours, ultimately, um, you know, and if we lost the allotment next year, you know, it again, it's a place. <laughs> Looking around, swept up and everything, but it's going to get muddy. The tools are going to get muddy. You know, I don't want to be precious about uh, dirty handprints and things like that on the walls. Not that there should be any on the walls, but they, you know what I mean. So we haven't painted the inside. There are, what else have we got to do? I think that might be it. I think that might be it. As far as the outside's concerned, um, just clearing up and waiting for those flowers to really take. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna make that other box. But other than that, I'm happy. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you would do. I've just thought of something else. I've got some really nice like wrought iron black hooks and I'm thinking about putting them there, you know, cups. I don't know what to put. Yeah, what would you do? Do you like it? I hope you do. Um, thanks to my patrons who helped me along with this. I say me, obviously it's us, it's Mike and myself. And uh, yeah, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. Can you do that? I don't know. And drop me a comment in the comments below. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.